special guest in the house. This is a uh, little chomp. I already naming it all. <laughs> ben Portnoy with the first one. Jesus, sorry, Jawari, it took me a second there. Um, <laughs> I guess just you got the ball there, I see. But uh, walking into the end zone and, and seeing that, uh, what did that feel like, man? And, and what did you see on that play? Man, I was just like, please don't get tackled. Please don't get tackled. Please don't get tackled. That's all I can remember saying. Just please don't get tackled. And uh, then when I got in the end zone, I was like, at first I was looking for a flag. And it was no flag. And they said, you know, my whole team, everybody just rushed me, and I couldn't breathe after that. <laughs> so that was about it. Mike Huba? Jabari, uh, not, not to take away from you or uh, Little Chomp over there, but to talk about the defense and being able to do what you guys did, stopping one of the, the top rush defense, excuse me, rush offenses in the SEC. You know, obviously they fell behind, but, you know, what does that say about this defense and being able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with, with one of the best rushing attacks in the, in, in the conference and being able to, to stop them the way you guys did? Well, I mean, it's, it's everything we know we could do, man. Um, to be honest, uh, when we play complementary football, we all firing off in all cylinders. Man, we could be, we can compete with anybody. We could be the best uh, that we can be. So um, we know we could, we know we could do it. Uh, it just came down to us really playing complementary football, and that off week really helped us. Colin Taylor, Jabari, just how much fun was that from a defensive standpoint? To obviously, you guys struggled stopping the run at times this year. You guys did a really good job of that. How much fun was that for you guys as the game went on? Man, it was pretty fun, man. To be honest, no one uh, ever got down. No one ever complained. No one ever uh, got in a, to a moment where like uh, they they wanted to make uh, plays for themselves. And we never, no one never got like that. It was always um, team football, complimentary football, and that was the uh, big part of it. That was that was a, a huge part of it. Ben Briner, uh, have your post game or pre game yeah. playlist song be knocked if you buck. Do you think that gave you any extra juice there? What was that going into the the motivation? Yeah. <clears throat> Had to man, cause uh. I made the big screen, so so I made the big screen, so I had to, you know, I had to give it a little extra juice, and then once I gave it some extra juice, it's like I found something in there, and I was just like, well, let me roll with it. Ben Briner. Uh, Jabari, I guess for you as a senior, you've seen a lot in your time at South Carolina. How meaningful is it to get sort of a win like this, you know, come in as a 20-point underdog and be able to blow the doors off a team like that? How meaningful is it for you as a senior and to sort of see the program where it is kind of after a, a wonky first two thirds of the season. Man, all I can remember saying and telling guys on the um on the sideline was like, man, this feel good. Like this feel good. I could just remember saying it repeatedly over and over. Like we gotta finish it so we can, you know, really have that true feeling. But I was like, man, this feel good. Like let's stay on let's keep our foot on the gas and enjoy the moment. Corey Diaz. Jabari, uh, you know, there's there were talk this week leading up to the game about how uh, just from practice, kind of the physicality had ticked up some amongst the team between the offense and the defense. Can, can you just speak to uh, you guys kind of switching that up a little bit in practice and how much did that contribute to how you guys performed this season? Yeah, that that was huge for us, man. We we took the game plan out of it. We took the game plan out of it and we just um just went out there and compete. I mean, um, had had a, a, a tremendous off week actually, and was just a high level of competition. It was just a high level of competition, and uh, that carried on until game week, and then that carried on to game day. So you know that that off week really helped us out. Kendall Smith, Tabari, you told me at media day earlier this year that going into the first day of practice felt like going into the first day of school. If you could compare tonight's win to any particular event or some sort of feeling, what would that be? It's like I'm still on the uh, roller coaster right now. I'm still on the roller coaster. Uh, you know, the fair just left town. And, uh, I feel like I'm still on the roller coaster. So I really, um, I really don't know. Words can't describe it. To be honest, words words can't describe it. But I know one thing: I'm happy, and this feel good. <laughs> Rick Henry. Hey Jabari, a lot of people were walking around the stadium tonight asking each other, "Did you see this coming?" Uh, this. In the past two weeks, after that Texas A&M game, uh, what was going to happen tonight? Um, well, I heard like a piece. Yeah, of you your broke question. up a little bit yeah, there, Rick. <laughs> heard a piece of your question. Can you repeat it one more time, please? Okay. 
You don't get you don't have you. Hey. Let's go to Dick Cox. Can you talk about being a senior with everything you've been through to be now in position to one win away from getting to a bowl? Just talk about how it motivates you and this team to have a chance to, uh, in Coach Beamer's first year to make it to a bowl and have three opportunities ahead of you to get there. Well, um, Coach Beamer fights so hard, man. He fights so hard for us, and he's really a player's coach. So um, I can remember just last week um, he was saying he told us, like, he going, he's going to give us everything he got. And, I, and, and something just clicked in that moment. And I don't know, but I can remember, I know the seniors got together, the older guys, the, the uh, kind of like the leadership, and we all told them, like, Coach, we're going to give you everything we got for these last four games. So that just shows uh, what kind of coach we have that's uh, leading us. Rick Henry, you want to try again? Okay, can you hear me now? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, I was just wondering, um, because a lot of people tonight are walking around, they were asking each other, hey, did you see this coming? And everyone was going, no, nah, I didn't see this coming. But you, <laughs> uh, in the last two weeks after that Texas A&M game, did you see any indications that you were on the verge, this team was on the verge of a night like this? Uh, to be honest, yeah, we, we always seen this. Even – well, prior games, we, we always expected to, to go out and dominate, and when they don't go our way, we were surprised. We would be shocked at that. But uh, we, we knew we could do it. We just, It just uh, was a matter of us playing complimentary football, just firing off on all cylinders. So we never had any doubt in our mind. Uh, Coach uh, Mike, Mike Peterson gave a speech before the game, and he was all uh, talking about belief. So that's what it all comes down to, belief. And uh, we believed it for the last two weeks. So that, that was huge. Last one goes to Ben Portnoy. Jabari, kind of to that point, I mean, you know, we see you guys play on Sunday and then we talk to you midweek stuff, but that's about it. You know, we see the offense struggle. We see maybe the defense has been good, but maybe has a little bit tougher time against the run the last few weeks, whatever it is. What is it that you guys see day to day, practice to practice, whatever it is that, that makes you guys feel like nights like, you know, tonight are possible. And I, I guess, you know, seeing it all come to fruition, what does that feel like? Well, I live by saying, um, keep chopping wood. So, um, to be honest, uh, I can remember me and the D-Tackles, we got together, um, and we were just like, no matter what, no matter if uh, play's not coming our way or what, just, uh, what not, just keep chopping wood. And it, and that rolled over to the defense. So we, we never picked our head up and, you know, see the progress we made or look at the score. We just kept chopping wood repeatedly. And I feel like that's why we had, you know, a victorious outcome. All right. Thank you, Jabari. And little chomp. <laughs> All right. Thank you all for having me.